Hi there, it's Viskla, back with another deep dive into the fascinating world of gaming culture. Today, we're exploring a topic that's been stirring up quite a bit of discussion, the psychology behind Asmongold's distaste for woke themes in video games. For those who might not be familiar with him, Asmongold is a widely recognized and influential streamer known for his candid commentary and passionate opinions about the gaming industry. Recently, he has expressed some strong views about the incorporation of woke themes in video games. He argues that these themes can sometimes feel out of place or detract from the gaming experience. Asmongold believes that video games should primarily focus on providing entertainment and escapism for players. According to him, injecting woke themes, such as social justice issues or political agendas, into games can disrupt the intended gaming experience. He suggests that these themes may feel forced or disconnected from the core essence of the game, compromising the authenticity and enjoyment. However, it is important to note that Asmongold's opinions are subjective and represent his personal preferences as a gamer. While some players may share his views, others may appreciate the inclusion of diverse themes and narratives in video games. The gaming industry has made efforts to embrace inclusivity and representation, reflecting the diverse interests and experiences of its player base. But regardless of where you stand on this issue, it's clear that it's a topic worth discussing. As the gaming industry continues to evolve, these conversations will play a crucial role in shaping its future. But what's really driving these sentiments? Let's break it down. First, let's clarify what we mean by woke themes. In the context of video games, this often refers to the inclusion of diverse characters, narratives, and themes that challenge traditional norms and promote social justice. From a psychological perspective, understanding Asmongold's personality type can provide insights into his gaming preferences, his streaming style, and even his reactions to industry trends. Asmongold's personality type, some argue that he's an extrovert, thriving on the energy of his live streams and interactions with fans. Others suggest he might be an introvert deeply thoughtful and introspective. Asmongold has been vocal about his belief that these themes can sometimes feel forced or inauthentic, detracting from the gaming experience. But is there more to it than that? From a psychological perspective, resistance to change and new ideas is a common human trait. It's possible that Asmongold, like many of us, might be grappling with the rapid evolution of the gaming landscape. Consider leaving a like if you are enjoying the video so far. Change is a constant in life, yet many of us resist it. New ideas challenge our comfort zones and disrupt our routines. But why do we resist? What's happening in our minds when we push back against the new and unfamiliar? Resistance to change can be traced back to a few key factors. Fear of the unknown, comfort and familiarity, and a sense of loss are just a few of the elements at play. Change is a constant in the world of video games. Developers are always pushing the boundaries, introducing new mechanics, and evolving their games. But for some players, these changes can trigger a sense of loss. But why? Our sense of loss can be traced back to our attachment to the familiar. We form connections with the games we play, and when those games change, it can feel like we're losing something important. In the gaming industry, this sense of loss can manifest in many ways, from backlash against updates and sequels, to nostalgia for older versions of games, the effects of this psychological phenomenon are all around us. Understanding the psychology behind our sense of loss can help us adapt to changes in our favorite games. By acknowledging our feelings and embracing the new, we can continue to enjoy the evolving world of gaming. Fear of the unknown is a fundamental aspect of the human condition. It's why we hesitate before stepping into a dark room, or feel anxious when facing a big change. But what's really going on in our minds when we grapple with the unknown? Fear of the unknown can be traced back to our survival instincts. Our brains are wired to react to uncertainty with caution. It's a protective mechanism, designed to keep us safe from potential threats. In our everyday lives, this fear can manifest in many ways. From reluctance to try new experiences, to anxiety about future events, the fear of the unknown is a powerful force that shapes our behavior. Understanding the psychology behind our fear can help us overcome it. 
By acknowledging our fears and challenging our comfort zones, we can become more open to the unknown and embrace the possibilities it brings. Familiarity is a powerful force. It's why we often prefer the things we know over the unknown, even when the unknown might be better. But what's really going on in our minds when we find comfort in the familiar? Our comfort and familiarity can be traced back to our survival instincts. Familiar environments and situations are perceived as safe, while the unknown can be seen as a potential threat. In our everyday lives, this comfort can manifest in many ways. From our preference for familiar foods, to our tendency to stick with the same routines. But it's not all about sticking to what we know. Embracing the unknown can lead to growth and new experiences. By understanding the psychology behind our comfort and familiarity, we can challenge ourselves to step outside of our comfort zones. But it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding the psychology behind our resistance can help us overcome it. By acknowledging our fears and challenging our comfort zones, we can become more open to change and new ideas. Social justice topics are often complex and can be controversial. They challenge our beliefs, our values, and our understanding of the world. But why do some people resist these discussions? Resistance to new ideas can often be traced back to a fear of change or a discomfort with unfamiliar concepts. It's a protective mechanism designed to keep our worldviews intact. In society, this resistance can manifest in many ways, from backlash against social justice movements to denial of systemic issues. Understanding the psychology behind our resistance can help us engage with these topics more effectively. By acknowledging our fears and opening our minds, we can contribute to a more just society. In recent years, we've seen more and more developers incorporating themes of social justice and diversity into their games. But why is this happening? And what does it mean for the future of gaming? From a psychological perspective, this shift could be seen as a response to the changing demographics of gamers. Some gamers appreciate the increased representation and diversity, while others feel that these themes are being forced or shoehorned into games. What are the psychological benefits of this trend? Representation and inclusion can have a profound impact on players. Seeing characters that look like us or that share our experiences can validate our identity and make us feel seen. For gamers, this can lead to a more immersive and emotionally engaging gaming experience. It can also foster empathy and understanding, as players are exposed to diverse perspectives and experiences. And it's not just gamers who benefit. The gaming industry also stands to gain from the inclusion of woke themes. By appealing to a broader audience, games can reach more people and have a greater cultural impact. Exclusion can have a profound impact on players. When we don't see characters that look like us, or that share our experiences, it can lead to feelings of alienation and invisibility. For gamers, this can lead to a less immersive and emotionally engaging gaming experience. It can also limit empathy and understanding as players are not exposed to diverse perspectives and experiences. And it's not just gamers who suffer, the gaming industry also stands to lose from the exclusion of woke themes. By not appealing to a broader audience, games may fail to reach their full potential and have a lesser cultural impact. At the end of the day, it's important to remember that everyone's gaming preferences are personal and subjective. As the industry continues to evolve, it will be interesting to see how these discussions unfold. That's all for today's deep dive. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more insights into gaming culture. This is Viscla, signing off.